Ever wondered how you go from being a potato on the couch to running a marathon or just making it through another Monday? It's all thanks to tiny power generators inside your cells called mitochondria. They're working around the clock, turning your food into pure energy, making you the human dynamo you are. But how do they do it? How do these microscopic machines keep you alive and kicking? The key to feeling good again, without discomfort, with an endless supply of energy, lies in your mitochondria. Spoiler alert. It involves some high-stakes biochemistry, a lot of electrifying action, and a process that could put any power plant to shame. Buckle up, because we're about to uncover the secret recipe for cellular energy, and trust me, it's more explosive than you think. Let's jump right into it. Mitochondria. These little guys are your cell's power plants, and they've got one job, to keep you going. Imagine a factory running 24-7, churning out the fuel you need for literally everything, from pumping your heart to helping you binge watch your favorite shows. That's mitochondria in a nutshell. But instead of coal or gas, they use something much more interesting. A cocktail of glucose, oxygen, and a little bit of magic known as cellular respiration. Here's the deal. Your body breaks down food into glucose, a type of sugar. This glucose enters your cells, and that's where the mitochondria step in. But they don't just wave a magic wand and turn it into energy. Oh no, it's way cooler than that. Let's break down the three-step process that makes all this magic happen. Step one, glycolysis. Sounds like a fancy term, but it's just the first part of your body's energy journey. This happens outside the mitochondria, in the cell's cytoplasm. Here, glucose is split into two molecules of pyruvate. Think of it like breaking a candy bar in half to share. Except instead of candy, you're breaking down a sugar molecule. And instead of sharing, you're gearing up for the next big step. And what do you get from this? A little bit of ATP, adenosine triphosphate, or as we like to call it, energy juice. But don't get too excited. This is just a warm-up. The real show is about to start. Next up, the Krebs cycle, also known as the citric acid cycle. Now things are getting interesting. This part happens inside the mitochondria, in the matrix. And no, we're not talking about a sci-fi movie. Here, those pyruvate molecules get completely dismantled in a series of chemical reactions that could rival any chemistry set you had as a kid. And what's the result? More electrons. These high-energy electrons are like the VIP guests at a rave, ready to party all night long. And guess what? The mitochondria are the ultimate rave hosts. They know exactly where to send these VIPs for maximum impact. The Krebs cycle also produces a bit of ATP and releases carbon dioxide as a byproduct. That's right, every breath you exhale is partly thanks to this wild ride happening in your cells. You're literally breathing out the results of cellular energy production. How cool is that? Now here comes the grand finale, the electron transport chain. This is where the real energy payoff happens, and it's all going down on the inner membrane of the mitochondria. Picture a conveyor belt system at an airport, but instead of luggage, you have electrons bouncing along from one protein complex to the next, generating a lot of buzz. This is high-stakes biochemistry, folks. As these electrons move down the chain, they release energy. And what does the mitochondria do with this energy? It pumps protons across the inner membrane, creating a proton gradient. Think of this like water building up behind a dam. The tension is rising, and the potential energy is just waiting to be unleashed. Finally, the moment we've all been waiting for. ATP synthase, the cell's very own energy turbine. As protons rush back across the membrane, this little enzyme starts spinning like a tiny molecular windmill. And each spin? It cranks out ATP like it's printing money. Cha-ching! This is the jackpot, the big win, the ultimate payout. This is where your cells make most of their ATP, your body's main energy currency. But wait, there's more! For all this to happen smoothly, mitochondria need one crucial ingredient, oxygen. That's right, every time you take a breath, you're fueling this entire process. Oxygen acts like the ultimate cleanup crew, grabbing those spent electrons and joining up with some protons to form water. No oxygen, no party, and the energy production line grinds to a halt. This is why you can't hold your breath forever. Your cells are literally gasping for energy. Without oxygen, those electrons would pile up like traffic at rush hour, jamming the entire system. And trust me, you don't want that. That's why, when you exercise and breathe harder, 
you're actually supercharging your mitochondria, giving them all the oxygen they need to keep the ATP flowing. Now all this is great when things go according to plan, but what happens if something goes wrong? Imagine a factory where the machines start breaking down, production slows and chaos ensues. The same thing happens in your cells when mitochondria aren't working properly. When they malfunction, it can lead to a whole host of problems. Muscle weakness, fatigue, even diseases like Parkinson's and Alzheimer's. And guess what? The energy production grinds to a slow, miserable crawl. This is why keeping your mitochondria in tip-top shape is not just a good idea. It's essential for your survival. That's right, folks. Your mitochondria are the unsung heroes keeping you alive every single day, one ATP molecule at a time. So the next time you feel a burst of energy, or even take a deep breath, give a little nod to your mitochondria. They're working harder than you know to keep the lights on.